Good morning. It's 7.30 a.m. Let me just check. 7.30 a.m. and it's uh, 26 degrees Celsius here in Taiwan. Currently, I'm in Kaohsiung. Uh, it's in the south of Taiwan. And I'm actually gonna visit a Buddha temple and a Lotus Lake, it's called. So right now, I'm just gonna enter the subway Go to the main station here of Kaohsiung city. I'm very sorry for my pronunciation. As you know, I don't speak Mandarin. And uh, yeah, let's go to the subway. I'm gonna try and find the location for that. Let's go. So yesterday I went to the night market. Uh, holy crap. As you see, there's a lot of sun. So yesterday I went to the night market, I ate some food, uh, tried some few stuff that I didn't try before. Some of them were good. Uh, there was the Taiwanese sausage with the rice bun. It was actually good. That one was worth it. Um, okay, so we're in the station right now. Two of these uh, pao tzi uh, buns, it's actually bread and inside there's uh, either chicken, beef or pork, uh, it's like 50, 50 Taiwanese dollars, that's about two dollars in total, two dollars or three dollars, it's very cheap I'm telling you. I'm actually heading to the Zhu Ying station over here and I'm gonna take the bus, it's a bus that brings directly to the Buddha temple. I'm telling you guys, it's actually very hot outside today. It's 26 degrees, 27. And I'm wearing a white t-shirt, a hat, my sunglasses. I'm gonna sweat like crazy. Um, hopefully I find also some good food in the way. I mean, so far I'm trying to look for the best foods out here in the streets. But I'm having a hard time because there's a language barrier so sometimes I'm scared of eating something I might not like or you know all right we're at the station let's go Oh great, there was a 7-Eleven here and I just got out of the station. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually buy a ticket because I'm in Kaohsiung and I buy a one-way ticket from the station where I am. So right now I'm here. Again, my pronunciation is not the best, so Zhao Ying. And I'm heading to Taoyuan. That is the airport where I first landed. I'm going back in Taipei. So one adult other time so the noon there you go the ticket is now printed so you just grab it over here so I'm gonna save this little ticket look guys they have sweet potatoes in the oven I think it's uh, here 25 Taiwanese dollars or 30 or 35 it depends on the grams so the higher the gram the more expensive but still cheap it's so cold we should have this in Montreal seriously they put sweet potatoes in the oven so you just grab it with this put it in the little bag and yeah you have everything 
So I'm gonna grab like two of them because I'm starving over here. You actually can't go wrong with these buns called Pao Tsi. Now, the thing is that when I bought these, oh my god, this is spicy. It's good. When I bought these, um, I was getting off of one station, but then when I arrived at the next station, I actually went up the stairs and there was another 7 Eleven. Now, every 7 Eleven is different. There's some of them that are smaller, they don't have as much by area of items or food. Some of them are bigger, so they have more stuff. So I bought two sweet potatoes, I bought a banana, and this thing over here. It's almost like the sushi, it's seaweed wrapping uh, some rice and inside I think there's tuna fish. So I bought all that because I'm gonna be hungry afterwards. And I'll be walking under this heat. So far everyone's friendly, that's what I like about Taiwan. Um, you ask anyone, they're gonna try their best to speak in English. There's a huge language barrier as well. The only thing is that um, you gotta know the basics, like thank you, hello, or how much, uh, how much does it cost, for example. Uh, where is that? Where is this? Just the basic words, and then they'll, they'll feel like, oh, you, I know what they're saying, what this guy is asking for. So just a thing to keep in mind if you come to Taiwan is just that uh, know the basic words and then you're good. Some of them speak a lot of good English. That's the younger generation. They speak more English than the older uh, generation. And right now I'm staying under the shade because it's so hot. I you see everyone around here is under. And uh, we're waiting for the bus so I can go to the temple. Let's go. It's called Fu Guang's Shan. I don't know if you guys can see it, but anyways, I'll show you guys with my footage. <laughs> Ask me how much is the subway, uh, the metro system here in Taiwan. It's actually pretty cheap. Only a one-way entrance to go at any station. It it costs me like 25 Taiwanese dollars. That's about one dollar and ten cents, which is nothing. I wish it was like that back home, back home in Montreal. You know, just a one-way. It's like almost four dollars. And uh, it's crazy, it's just crazy. So how it works is that they give you this little token, this blue little token, you insert it into the, uh, the exit, so the doors open, and uh, voila, that's pretty much it. Uh, one thing that you might get, get confused that there's a lot of maps as well, that you're trying to uh, look for the destination you're going to, but because it's written in Chinese, it's very difficult to uh, read it obviously especially if you don't re read the language it's actually the fastest and most economical way here uh, of transportation here in Taiwan where that couple is that it is where I'm gonna wait for my bus the other thing as well is that the, the hostel where I slept they had uh, like a schedule of the buses of the places you can visit so I planned my stuff accordingly to the information that was given on those uh, guidebooks so I used Google map I was, I was using two phones at the same time trying to look for alternative which was the cheapest way to go to the station and then take the bus so I just decided to take the metro easiest way even though it's a bit confusing but hey I'm here now and I think that's the bus over here nope it's not never mind <laughs> <laughs> 